Today's video is the first in a seven day Christmas card series. To begin with, I've taken a piece of white linen effect cardstock and I'm sponging the center of this using a piece of Ranger Cut and Dry foam with a distress ink in the color Wild Honey. Next, I'm going to add some stamping to the background and for this I've chosen a grid design by Prima. I'm applying this using some of the same Wild Honey Distress Ink and I'm stamping it just here and there to create a distress effect. Now I'm taking a second stamp, this is Very Tiny Splatters from the Itty Bitty Background stamp set which is now discontinued unfortunately by Stampin' Up and I stamped this first using the Wild Honey Distress Ink and then also a small amount using Versafine Onyx Black. This is hot press watercolour paper and I've chosen to stamp an image by Penny Black for my focal design. This is a poinsettia image and again I'm using the Versafine Onyx Black to stamp with. Now I'm going to add colour to my image and for this I've chosen watercolours by Windsor & Newton. Once I've finished painting the Ponsettia image and the colour has dried, I'm taking a craft knife by Prima Marketing to cut out the areas that I don't need. And once I've finished cutting out those areas, I'm just adding a small amount of black paint to cover up the white edge that's been left after um, using the craft knife on the watercolour paper. And now I'm using Pergamano curved edge detail scissors to cut out the image completely. This is a stamp set called Signature Christmas by Paper Tray Ink and I've chosen a sentiment to add to the front of my card from this set and I'm stamping it using Versafine Ink in Onyx Black. Next I'm adding my Ponsettia and for this I'm just using some regular glue stick to attach it to the background that I made earlier. Next I've chosen to use some Ranger Glossy Accents to cover the Ponsettia image entirely and this is going to give the image a glossy finish as well as some dimension.
Whilst the glossy accents is drying, I'm working on the insert for the card and for this I've chosen a Spellbinders die. This is labels 3 and I'm going to add some colour to the edges using the Wild Honey colour Distress Ink that was on the front of the card so that the two will match and I'm applying it again using a piece of Ranger Cut and Dry Foam. I also go ahead and add some of the tiny splatters using the Stampin' Up stamp in the Wild Honey and choose a second sentiment from the Paper Tray Ink stamp set. Now I'm going to add some red ink to the very edges of my insert. So for this I've chosen Distress Ink in Festive Berries and this is to match the red colour of the Ponsettia which is the focal image on the outside of the card. I then go ahead and use the same ink in Festive Berries direct paper around the front of the card. Now I'm using a Stickles Glitter Glue from the Suze Weinberg collection. This is the colour Champagne and I'm adding this to the centre of my Ponsetti design to add some glitter and I also add some around the very edges of the card over some of the tiny splatters that were stamped so that this also will have a very subtle glitter appearance. Once everything has dried, I use double sided tape to layer my focal image onto another piece of the linen textured cardstock. And now I'm finished with the front of the card, I'm going to attach it to my card base, which is 350 GSM smooth white cardstock. The back of my card has been stamped with my Judikin stamp which I use on all of my cards. If you require further details on that you can check it out in the video description. And here I am also attaching my insert and then the card is complete. I hope you enjoyed watching today's video and I hope it's given you some ideas for your own Christmas cards. I will see you again tomorrow for day two in this seven day series. Remember that there is always a link in the video description to the full product list as well as my social media sites.